mornings. So in this video, we are going to see the exam pattern and the syllabus of Scientific Assistant A recruitment from NIE LIT. Okay, so there is two recruitments happening from uh, NIE LIT. We have already uploaded the video for uh, the recruitment news. So there is two posts, there is Scientist and also Scientific Assistant A. So in this video, we will be seeing the exam pattern, that is which all areas you have to prepare and what is the syllabus of the scientific assistant A recruitment. Okay, so first let us see the exam pattern. So the examination is a 120 mark examination. It is having 120 questions and the time allotted is 3 hours. And you will be having or you will be facing questions from the general areas that is aptitude reasoning, uh, English subject, all those areas and also from your respective branch subject okay so talking about the branches uh, the branches they are recruiting are computer science it and electronics only so uh, for these respective branches you have to study from the respective uh, branch questions or branch subjects you have to prepare for the technical area okay so both generic area and technical area is there now the weightage given for uh, the generic area is 35 percentage that is out of 120 question 35 percentage questions will be from the generic area and the remaining 65 percentage is given for your technical subject okay that is from uh, whichever branch you are belonging to that branch subject questions you have to face the marking given is like this for the correct answers that you are giving you will be getting one mark and also there is negative marking 0.25 mark will be deducted for the wrong answers okay so that is the marking scheme and the question and the time allotted now uh, they have also mentioned the cutoff percentage you are requiring for clearing this examination the cutoff mark is 50 percentage mark you should be getting if you belong to if you are belonging to the general and the economically weaker session category but if you are belonging to obc you require 40 percentage of mark and for the scst and persons with disabilities the cutoff percentage is 30 percentage okay so they have given all these things in a notification and also if you want to have a detailed look on the syllabus they have given the syllabus uh, as PDF in the site itself and also I'll be sharing the link in description. Okay, so you can find the detailed syllabus uh, in the description. Okay, next let us see the syllabus for various branches that is which all subjects you have to prepare. Let us see and also I'll be doing a separate video for the electronics branch that is the important topics that you have to prepare. Okay, so here we are going to see the subjects from uh, various branches that you have to prepare. Okay, first the computer science branch and also I want to tell you that engineering maths is a common subject for all the three branches for computer science IT and for electronics engineering maths is a common subject okay so for the computer science branch first one is engineering maths and the subjects you have to prepare are mathematical logic probability set theory and algebra permutation and combination then graph theory linear algebra numerical methods and calculus this these all subjects or these all topics are actually common for all the three branches okay next from the computer science branch the subjects that you have to, you have to study are so this is applicable for all all the computer science branch people okay so subjects are digital logic computer organization and architecture that is coa analog and digital communication programming and data structures algorithms theory of computation compiler design operating system databases the information systems and software engineering and computer networks so these are the subjects that you have to study from your computer science stream okay and this is only applicable for the computer science branch students okay next one next we are going to see the syllabus for it or information technology for the branch the subjects are first one is engineering maths itself and it is same uh, as like the computer science okay I'll tell it once again anyway so from the engineering maths you have to study mathematical logic probability set theory and algebra permutation and combination graph theory linear algebra numerical methods and calculus okay next one from the IT stream the subjects that you have to study are digital logic computer programming object oriented techniques data structures and algorithms, information management systems, DBMS, operating system, computer architecture and organization, computer networks, software engineering, internet web programming. Okay, 
So these are the subjects that you have to study from the IT stream. Okay. Then next one is for electronics. Again, engineering maths is almost same. I'll tell it. Okay. So from engineering maths, actually there is some slight variations. Okay. For the electronics branch. So from the engineering maths, you have to study linear algebra, differential equations. That is not for the other two branches. Okay. Then complex variables, probability and statistics, numerical methods, then transform theory. Okay. So these are subjects from mathematics you have to study. Then from the respective branch of electronics, the subjects that you have to study are electronic devices, analog circuits, digital circuits, signals and systems, communication, digital communication systems, control system, electromagnetics, network, microprocessor and microcontroller, then computer organization and architecture. Okay, so these are the subjects that you have to study from the electronics branch. So these are actually subjects, not topics. So from these subjects, you have to prepare the important topics. Okay, and also they have mentioned what are the topics that you have to study from this subject also. Okay, so if you see the PDF, you can see the respective uh, subject topic also. Okay, anyway, I'll be doing a separate video uh, for the important topics that you have to prepare for scientists and also for scientific assistant. Okay, so I'm really hoping that uh, you found this video useful. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also please do share it with all the people who are preparing for the scientific assistant A examination. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.